upon unboxing this phone guys i have noticed that this phone has got aspects of a flagship phone except from the cpu and has the body of a mid-range phone let's start this video guys with unboxing Hi guys, this is Shani and welcome to my channel. In this video guys, let's review this phone. This is the Poco X6 or 6X and this phone belongs to the mid-range phone category and this phone is very fantastic guys. Let's talk first about the physical features of this phone. So this phone has got a 6.67 inch screen display and this screen is dynamic uh, with a maximum of 120 hertz refresh rate and it's only fhd guys it's not 4k but that's okay already it's you don't need 4k for a phone because it's just the screen is just small and uh, it has a peak brightness of 1800 nits that is fantastic guys for a mid-range phone the s22 ultras and 23 ultras only got uh, 1700 nits in brightness but this one has got an 1800 nits on brightness this phone is also or the screen of this phone is also gorilla glass 5 a little bit old technology but it's still great and it has a amoled screen in addition guys the screen of this phone has got a very tiny bezel so it's great guys it's almost the same as the asset for ultra and only thing about the screen of this phone guys is also it's the same with the s24 ultra because it's not that vivid so a little bit more faded just like the s24 ultra and if you have the s24 ultra you're gonna feel the same vibe of the screen of this phone because it's a little bit faded but the s24 ultra has got more brighter screen of course it is an expensive phone and this phone is just also very much cheaper compared to the flagship phones the body of this phone guys is uh, made with uh, plastic also with the back so at the side of this phone guys it feels like a metal side or metal frame but it is just made of plastic when i have opened this phone guys from the box i th really thought that this is metal or aluminum because it feels like uh, the same with that nothing phone too it's very light it's only 187 grams so it's also great guys because it's not very heavy and uh, the back of this phone guys also it looks like um glass but it's also made of plastic along with this black part of this phone guys it's also uh, plastic but um, i have noticed that uh, it, it absorbs fingerprint very easily so the left side of this phone guys we've got nothing in here it's all plain on the other side we have got um, the volume button and the lock button the same as other phones on the top we can see in here um, three uh, holes in here and this is the speaker and we have here another microphone and we have got here I, uh, i'm not sure about this it looks like an antenna this it's not a hole it's a black thing and the bottom of this one guys we have got a sim card slot a microphone a usb-c port and a five holes for the speaker in addition guys this usb-c port from this phone is capable of 67 watts fast charging and uh, this phone comes with a lot of things so this phone comes with this case and uh, it comes from the box guys and this case is great um, it has a uh, protruding camera protector if you, if you can see there it is protruding yeah and it comes from the box guys and uh, what i like more about this phone guys is it is cheap and it has more accessories it comes with a charger brick it comes with a keyboard it comes with this uh, as what i've said it comes with this case it also comes with a earphones or headphones it comes with a pin remover or a 
push pin and manuals so that's what is in the inside of this phone and uh, now let's talk about um, the camera so we have got uh, four circles here and here and uh, one of these is the flash as you can see in here the with the white this is a flash and we have got three cameras here so the camera of this phone is uh, 64 megapixel for the main camera 8 megapixel ultra wide for the ultra wide and 2 megapixel only for the macro we don't normally use the macro so i think that's the reason why it's only two megapixels and the selfie camera guys which is in the front is 16 megapixels which is great and it has fantastic quality as well we will discuss some samples and uh, photo quality later on in this video now let's talk about the insides of this phone and the specs of this phone guys so the spec of this phone guys is one of the reason that this phone has, is almost like a high-end phone or a flagship phone so the specs of this phone guys is almost the same as the flagship phones except from the cpu and that made a big difference so this phone has got a mediatek dimensity 8300 plus which has the same performance with the snapdragon 8 gen 2 and that is a 2023 cpu or that is a flagship cpu last year 2023 and uh, according to the benchmark the mediatek dimensity 8300 for this phone is a little bit just a tiny bit more better in performance than the snapdragon 8 gen 2. so the dimensity 8300 plus is octa core with four nanometer size or five na four nanometer technology with the maximum speed of 3.3 hertz and the GPU of this phone is the Mali G615 and this phone has got a massive 12GB of RAM and 5 12GB of SSD storage and if you recap those specs guys it has the specs of a high-end phone and that's just very fantastic for the price and the price of this phone guys here in the UK is £340 on Amazon and uh, it, you can buy it cheaper on eBay and if you want to buy this phone guys I'll put a link in the description of this video and you're gonna buy it a little bit more cheaper in my link so try to visit my link guys so the UK price is a little bit more expensive compared to other countries in the Philippines you can buy this for seven or 17,000 pesos which is very cheap for the phone with these specs so I can see guys that there is just one step of a ladder to be considered as a high-end phone or a flagship phone it's just a little bit with some performance and 4k thing the camera of this phone guys has got a 64 megapixel main as what i've said earlier and the photo samples is also great i'll give a sample thing here actually guys this phone is a very decent camera guys as well you can see here details is very accurate sharpness is just very nice um, and these colors and just very nice this is the front camera guys and it has a very great performance there is a little bit of a tiny bit of issue in the low light if you can see here shadows over sharpened and i think that's the only thing but it it is still fantastic it can be usable so this tiny bit of issue is not a big issue at all this video here is a 4k 60 and this is the only thing well i don't normally make an issue about it this for this video guys is a 4k 30 because we don't have a 4k 60 option and yeah that's it i'm happy with it in addition guys this phone has also got the battery capacity of the flagship phones this phone has got a 5000 mAh battery and uh, compared to some flagship phones guys this phone has got a 67 watts fast charger and fast charging and it also comes with a brick and that is one of the advantages of this phone compared to other phones these things that i mentioned guys i can consider these phones for some people who wants great camera for recording and vlogging and things like that as what you've seen previously in the video samples and photo samples it, this phone has got fantastic except from the low light because um, it's not just very great it has some issues but it's not that bad now um i have tested the 67 watt fast charging or fast charger for this phone and uh, the 67 watts fast charger guys is only compatible with the brick that comes with the phone 
I have tried to charge this phone on my desktop charger 120 watts desktop charger and it's not compatible with 67 watts guys i think the 67 watts fast charger is only designed for this phone because some other phones guys i it's only compatible with 15 watts 25 watts 45 watts fast charging for the s24 ultra and this guys has got a 67 watts and that's just very fantastic you can just full charge this phone from 0 to 100 percent in 47 minutes so there are some things guys that makes this phone just mid-range so as what i said earlier this phone has only got a plastic body and uh, that's it really and the cpu and also it's only ip54 so according to the marketing or, or according to the manual this phone this is only resistant to rain showers and this is not really water submersible and i don't really suggest to get this phone wet because the holes of the speakers the microphone is just very large so i think um, water can get inside this phone very easily so i don't suggest to wet this phone guys well i don't we don't really get the phone underwater so that's not a big issue for me i also have tested this phone in gaming and uh, the gaming performance in this phone is just very fantastic it's very smooth i like the screen display i like the performance it's very fast and um, i have no issues with it there is a tiny bit of heating and thermal throttling with, with long time gaming but I can still suggest this guys for gaming if you are trying to buy a phone if you are trying to uh, live stream with mobile gaming i i do suggest this phone guys this phone has also got a very quick um fingerprint scanner and also has got a face facial lit, facial unlock screen thing so yeah that's it so i hope you like this video guys and i hope this video is been helpful for your phone search and that's our video for today and if you again guys if you are interested to buy this phone i'll put a link in the description and you can buy it from there and please subscribe to the channel guys to support me thank you for watching